<laughs> That's actually a good idea. <laughs> All right, this problem, a boat can go 24 miles per hour, so there we go. We got our rate. It even told us what the rate was miles per hour, so miles divided by hours, distance divided by time. Yeah, now I have to... I'm, one extra question. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, if the boat travels 54 miles upstream in the same time that it takes to travel 90 miles downstream, find the speed of the current. So we want the speed of the current in relation to the boat. Uh, so if we look at this, we got upstream. And then we also have downstream. So upstream, and this is the speed, right? You'd have the speed of the boat, which is 24 miles per hour. And since you're going upstream, you're going against the current of the stream, so you'd have to subtract the speed of the current. So I'm using x, which is the speed of the current, which I'm just going to define just so everyone can see it. Speed of the current. By the way, if you got these mixed up, it really wouldn't make a huge difference because when you solve, you're going to end up with the same thing. So if you're not familiar with this terminology upstream and downstream, don't worry about it. Just be consistent with which one you use in each case. Okay. So downstream, you're going to have the speed of the boat in still water, but you're, you're going to add the speed of the stream since now you're going with the current. And by the way, these are the rates upstream and the rate downstream. So I'm going to I'm just going to use subletters for this. I've got the rate upstream and the rate downstream just so we know the difference between the two. Yes. For example, it says upstream you went 54 miles, downstream is 90 miles. So in other words, downstream we were going faster, which is which means we're adding that speed. Upstream is slower because we went less distance, which means we would have to subtract that speed. All right, so let's set these up because um, we do have distances on this. And it wanted to know, oh, oh yeah, it also told us right here that it, it took the same amount of time. We'll get into that in a moment. But uh, we do have our distances 54 miles up and 90 miles downstream. If we look back, um, uh, distance, I'm sorry. Again, see, I always have to start with rate. The rate is the distance divided by the time. So time is the distance divided by the rate. Uh, and that's the one we're going to use because the times are, diff are the same. Meaning the time to go upstream is equal to the time to go downstream. So how this sets up is what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, let's look at the time for upstream. Time, as we can see right here, is distance. And the time upstream, I, I'm sorry, the distance upstream was 90 miles. Up divided. Upstream is 54 miles. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Sorry. 54 miles. Upstream, distance, 54 miles. And then the rate, we already found the rate upstream right here was 24 minus x. All right, now let's look at the time for downstream, which is, again, the distance for downstream, which was 90. And then the rate for downstream was 24 miles per hour, but this time we added the stream speed. Remember back here, we got the, the time upstream is the same as the time downstream because up here it said that it took the same amount of time to go both those distances. So I'm going to replace the time upstream with the expression we found, which was 54 over 24 minus x. And this should equal the same time it took to go downstream, which is 90 divided by the 24 plus x. Okay. Well, from here, uh, again, you could, you could use common denominators or cross multiplication. Well, on this one... Um, Cross multiplication is going to give us the same thing as finding common denominator. So I'm going to cross multiply. I've got 90 times 24 minus x. And this should equal 
54 times 24 plus x. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and distribute 90 into the parentheses. 90 times 24, 2160 minus 90x. And this should equal, let's distribute this 54. 54 times 24 is 1296. And then plus 54x. At this point, I'm going to move all the x's to one side. On the right side, that's where I'm going to move them. So I'm going to add 90x to both sides. And I'll also subtract 1296 from both sides. So I got a 144x equals, I need to subtract these. So 864. 864? Yeah. Thank you. So well, that's. 864. So 864 divided by the 144, and we see that x is 6, which is the speed of the current, so miles per hour.